What's going on, everyone? This is CC Television. I'm Diatomic, and I'm bringing you guys some delicious Call of Duty Blacks gameplay. And I love Dr. Pepper, and I think I screwed up the Black Ops part of that intro. So I'm bringing you guys some delicious Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. And uh, the goal of this gameplay is to try and help you guys uh, improve your game a little bit. You know, give you some tips and tricks to improve your game. Um, uh, I don't want to call myself pro, like I'm C Nanners, but um, I, I can definitely hold my own, as you guys will see. This is a um, uh, game of 49 and 3 domination, uh, and I mean that's an excellent KD. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys some tips to help you get scores like that. And uh, first, I'm gonna start out with setups. And for something like this, <coughs> if you're gonna go for a really good KD uh, perks, I would generally recommend Hardline. And then for an attachment, use Dual Mag. Now you guys see me using red dot in this video, and uh, that's because I didn't know what dual mag did yet. Uh, so I figured out through the painkiller, or, or no, 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 it was through a video that I watched. Um, dual mag, the attachment dual mag, actually gives you double the amount of ammo. Um, it doesn't just make you reload faster; it also gives you twice the amount of ammo. So that kind of makes up for not having scavenger. And uh, so that's that's the the general setup I would recommend for guns. Uh, that's that's uh, a little more on preference in my opinion. I am a huge fan of the FAMAS. Uh, that is by far my favorite weapon in this game. Uh, I really really like that gun. I I don't know what it is about it, but it's just a nice. It I just when I pick up that gun, I just go beast mode, and. Uh, if you guys check out our channel, you'll see uh, that I post some pretty nice scores using that gun, and uh, it's just an overall good gun. Uh, yeah. So secondary, if I were you, I would use a launcher. I I have basically determined that secondaries are worthless in this game unless you're using Python uh, Akimbo, and even then, it's it's really not worth it. So I would just get a launcher, shoot down air support when it's giving you giving you trouble. Uh, kill streaks. Now, this is going to be a huge part of building yourself a nice KD game. As you guys can see in this gameplay, I'm using Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Dogs. And this is uh, a high risk, high reward kill streak setup. So this this setup that I'm using, you should not use unless you know that you're a fairly capable player and you could obtain a uh, 11 kill streak pretty easily. Really, it's all about getting the 7 kill streak with the Blackbird, and once you get that, then it will uh, it will boost. It'll make it really easy to get your other kill streaks, basically, because having an advantage like the Blackbird gives you is priceless. And it's only 7 kill streak with Hardline. I don't think that's very far fetched for the average player. I mean, most of you guys that are smart enough to watch YouTube videos and improve your game through those probably uh, can. I mean, you're probably pretty good players. So that's the kill streak setup that I would use uh, if you're gonna go for, you know, a really high kill game. Uh, if you're gonna do like, uh, if, if you're not trying to get a good, I mean, if you don't think you're a uh, good enough player to get those kill streaks uh, pretty consistently, then I would recommend Spy Plane, Blackbird Chopper Gunner, or like Spy Plane Care Package Chopper Gunner, or Spy Plane Care Package Blackbird and use Hardline Pro and you could change it and maybe you'll get lucky with a gunship or attack dogs or something. I've certainly had that happen to me. So, next I'm going to just talk about ways that you can uh, help yourself survive longer. Um, Black Ops was made for the above average player in my opinion. If you're a good player then you can pull really good games extremely consistently. and uh, well, I mean, not extremely consistently, but you can pull good games way more consistently than you could in Modern Warfare 2. You, you know, when you die in this game, it's your fault more often. It's your fault for doing something stupid instead of just getting noob tubed. Uh, aside from panic knifing, and that's a whole other commentary in itself. But I would recommend 
setting yourself up in a building like this. And I apologize if this gameplay is a little more campy, but there's a reason behind it. If you guys watch me, I have myself positioned on the map. There's only two ways they can get in. And if I'm using my headset, then I can I can sort of sound horn a little bit. Uh, I know the sound system isn't that great right now. Hopefully they'll they'll patch it. Um hopefully hopefully they'll patch it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm repeating myself. Um you want to pick a building where it has windows, preferably. Uh if you guys see where I've been camping most of the game, um I mean I haven't really been camping, I've been running around. But you guys see I have a good viewpoint on multiple objectives. So I know there's that there's gonna be people going there occasionally. You guys see me get a couple double sprays on B throughout this game. Just got a double spray on C. And uh I mean I can real I can see most of the map and, and see the main paths of the map. And getting a good game is all about placement and landing your shots. If you can place yourself strategically throughout the map to have an overview of the main pathways and some of that relies on map knowledge, I realize that. But just, you know, go into a private match and run around and look at look at the maps, you know. If you can set yourself up in a spot, a position where you can defend it relatively easily, like I said, there's really only two entrances into there that people know about. I know that you can get in one of the windows from some boxes. <coughs> Pro tip right there for you. Um so I can kind of, you know, sit in there and I can look over the map and I can pick people off. And that's really what building kill streaks is about knowing predicting people's movements and intercepting them while they're going somewhere while well you gotta catch them with their pants down you know if you can catch people unprepared you're gonna win the gunfight ninety percent of the time and that's how you get a good game if you can place yourself to I know this is getting a bit redundant I realize that but if you can place yourself to a in a strategic position throughout the map where you can you know, scan for people in several different hot spots on the map, I guess you could call them, then you're going to be able to pick people off, especially if you have a suppressed weapon. Um, in this case, I don't. I'm using the FAL red dot. Um, if you got a suppressed weapon and people don't know where you're firing from, then you, you can pick people off uh, <clears throat> with, you know, a small chance of them being able to get you before you already drop them, like that. And unfortunately, I get Claymore there. But uh, nothing you can really do about that. And I, I've been running Flak Jacket more often. Flak Jacket is a fantastic perk for uh, for for claymores and deaths that you can't really control sometimes. But uh, like I said a thousand times already, place yourself where you can have a nice overview of the map. <clears throat> look at some of the main routes on the map. I'm sure there's some YouTube videos out there explaining, you know, giving a map rundown. And if you want leave a comment I might be able to do a series like that um, that would be that I don't know I that might help out some people I don't know I would just say play online and, and just get some experience but anyways this this gameplay is wrapping up I hope I helped you guys out a little bit leave a comment if you have any questions I will try and read them and respond um, yeah leave a comment if you have any feedback for me if I suck at commentating I guess you don't have to word it that viciously. But uh, leave a comment if there's anything I can do to help you guys or improve. Me, um, subscribe to Elite Killers and CC Television. Thank you for allowing us to post. Until next time, peace out, Girl Scout.